Okay, we have 24 now. Alright, so let's go back down there. Should have enough. And on the way, we will, I guess, get more sticks. And we do need another oak tree, so might as well. I think that'll do it for now. Let's head back down. Yeah, we should probably start building more skeps. But that can wait. Or... Yeah, that can wait. I want to do this. go down here and then oh we should put some of the blocks over here now then just continue moving downward I think that's it Let's, let's go. Okay, so there's quartz here in chalk. This is a big place. Might as well light up as much as possible. Oh, this is... This is under the lake, isn't it? Alright, so... I don't want to disturb the muddy gravel there. So there's shale rock there. Can't really uh, throw a torch up there. So let's go through here. Oh, another advantage of Lantern is it's waterproof. So I can go in here and I'll have light, whereas the torch will just get burned out. I didn't really talk about the advantage of the torch or the Lantern, did I? Well, it's much brighter than torches. It's also really expensive. As you already know, it requires the beeswax and the, the plates, the metal plates. It doesn't need to be the tin bronze. It can be stuff like the copper. But all I had was tin bronze, so I just used that. And there's no resources here. I'll leave the torches here for the time being. Yeah, there's nothing in here. So forget about torching it. We'll leave the torches as is. So we've cleared this section over here. Oh, hi there. A surface drifter. We're still close to the surface, apparently. Alright. So let's go up here and nothing. Alright, let's put that there so nothing spawns in that, uh, whatever that's called, that section over there. Alright, let's continue 
going downward. Okay, that should make sure nothing spawns in here. Let's move in here. There's a lot of quartz, and here's saltpeter. Nothing down there, so let's go back up. Yeah, that's a dead end. No resources. We could use the saltpeter, but it's in a weird location. Don't feel like getting it, unless I absolutely have to. And we still got more quartz in here. I don't see any silver or gold in this quartz. So let's just keep going. Now we do have to go down here. Oh, this guy's coming after me. Okay, this is a bit dangerous, so what I'm going to do is dig through here. What the hell was that? Oh, you dropped on top of me. You jerk. Alright, you better give me something good. Flax, well, as good as it gets, I guess. Can I get this guy? No? Oh, he fell to his death. Okay. Anyway. This is still going downward. Okay, there's more saltpeter. I see you. And I miss you. Okay, these are easier to get. This saltpeter is much easier to get. And there is nothing here. Well, let's get the saltpeter and then get out of here. Oh, tainted drifter. Got to be careful with these guys, and they they can still do a lot of damage, because I still don't have decent armor. And that's flax. Okay, let's get this saltpeter. Should I really be using this tin bronze uh, shovel? Let's let's make a flint shovel head and then throw it away when we're done. This way we're not wasting the durability on the tin bronze stuff, especially when we don't really need that speed.
We'll just get all of the salt, Peter. As this does fertilize the ground for primarily, I believe, K, potassium. And that's the stuff that flax uses. So maybe we can just fertilize the ground while we wait for the other crops on the low fertility soil to finally uh, mature. Alright, let's get out of here. We'll just leave the torches here, because why not? Yeah, not really any valuable materials in here other than quartz. We did get the saltpeter, but that's really it. So that's cleared out. I think it's time to go get more skeps. Oh, two stacks of saltpeter. Great. So, are these crops done yet? No, it's still 8 out of 9. 7 out of 8. Okay, you know what? Let's just... This is starting to get ridiculous. Let's just use the saltpeter. Okay, 1237. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, in 18, 19, I miscounted that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wait, is it 19? Huh. Okay, I'm gonna double check. Make sure every single tile is fertilized. So far, so good. Wait. Oh. Okay. And let's plant more flax. Where where did we put the saltpeter? Right here. And then we put our seeds. 35. There's our flax seeds. Like, we still need a lot more flax in this, so... That's why I'm doing this. Instead of waiting, might as well just fertilize this. Okay, that should do it for now. And then we'll just wait for this to happen. This thing isn't growing as fast. <sighs> well, the bones can also be you be ground up into bone meal and that can be used to fertilize stuff. So we'll do that too. Now then Put this in here and put the flax back.
Might as well eat this meal. With two servings. I need my scythe. And we will go and harvest cattails. And we harvested a lot of cattails over there, so let's go in this direction here. Oh, come on. Oh, we probably should remove the lantern. We don't need it at this point in time. Like, I re need to remember to take that off because it does increase the hunger rate. I also need to collect the flowers. Really shouldn't forget that either. If I go in this direction, I'll eventually hit that somewhat big lake. There's a lot of cattails over there. There's chickens. I'm probably not going to go after chickens. The only thing they have is feathers, which I'm not going to use. You can use the feathers to craft some uh, arrows, but I've never really seen the value of, bo of the bow and arrow because sometimes the arrow would just disappear. Like it actually happens more than it's worth, so that's why I avoid using it. But if it was like a hundred percent drop rate, whenever you like used it, like if you fire the arrow and you get the arrow back, then at a hundred percent, then I would use it because then I can save inventory space. But sometimes the arrow just disappears, so it's just not worth it. At least for me. I think it's better to just carry a couple spears, two or three spears, and just kill stuff that way. Okay, I am up to 36. And I want to harvest as much of these as possible. You know, let's go in this direction. Or... Yeah, this direction. What's this? Carrots. I do not want carrots. I do want cattails. Where are you going? Okay, it's not going after me. That's all that matters. Oh, come on. Sometimes it just doesn't cut anything. Like that. It's kind of annoying with the scythe. I don't know why it does it, but... I guess the pros outweigh the cons, in a sense, because it does splash damage, basically. It still harvests much faster than a knife, so that's why I'm going to keep using this. Come on.
Okay, so we got one full stack. That's four skeps. Now we do have room for 16 skeps in our B thing. So we should try to fill this up as much as possible. Come on. I probably should take the roots. Probably. Uh, no. Maybe next time. Like, if I need more cattails, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Just not today. I don't feel like doing it. We'll travel along here. Maybe we can find a hole that we can go into. Like again, we still need to find halite so that we can preserve the food. We need pickled vegetables and we need uh, cured meat. Like, I hear the best way to find Halite is to just go south for a very long time until you hit a desert and then you get the dried salt beds. Like, the dried up lakes, like under it, underneath it, there's going to be lots of salt there. But I don't want to travel that far, really. Okay, we're up to... Up to there. 42. Okay, once we have two full stacks, then we'll head back. It's already, it's already 6 o'clock. Like, I don't want to be out for too long. I need to do other stuff. And we are getting a lot of grass as well. Like, we're going to need that eventually once we start uh, having animals in our base. This will be used to feed them. Oh, come on. 57, we need seven more. Oh, sun's going down. We need to hurry up. Oh, there goes my scythe. Wore out. Okay, let's go. We got two stacks of cattails. And we still have plenty of clay back at base. Okay, it's 7 o'clock now. Like, it would be much brighter if it weren't uh, raining. I gotta pick up these onions. And one thing I want more of is those pea crops. I've always had trouble finding pea crops, so whenever I can find them, I just collect them. Oh, 
Oh, there were cattails here. And it's a tighter bunch. Oh well. We got what we came for, so whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of cattails that are much closer to our location, to our base. Oh shit. I heard a wolf. Wolf is chasing me, and oh no. Our base is in this direction. It's okay, I'm not lost. Oh, hi there. What is this? That is flax. Uh, can't get it. Okay, it's almost sunset. All right, we're good. And there's our base. Just get in there and then we'll sort our stuff out. Okay. Where do we put the grass? Oh, let's put it in here. Now currants. Let's eat this. Now we do have some honey that we can use to start preserving our fruits, but we can do that later. Right now I need, well I need clay. Oh, let's get rid of the flint shovel, put it here. Same thing with the chalk. Like, we don't need chalk right now. And get rid of the onions as well. 